So this question is definitely a system of equations. Um, I think that it's a good idea to be able to recognize what question type a question is before reading it, right? So as soon as I see this situation here, two equations stacked on top of each other, my mind tells me, hey, there's a system of equations. And if I have a system of equations, I'm going to need to either use elimination and or substitution in order to solve it. Potentially, there are some exceptions on this test especially. But a question like this, we're going to need to use one of those two strategies or processes. So the question says, if x, y is a solution to the system of equations above, what is the value of x minus y? So the question is asking us to find the value of x minus y, which means we must first figure out the value of x and the value of y. So I'm going to use elimination to do that. So I'm going to just rewrite the equations here. So 2x minus 3y equals negative 14 and 3x minus 2y equals negative 6. So the way that you use elimination is you can literally choose whichever variable you want to eliminate. So I'm going to choose x. And second of all, you get to also choose what other numbers are required to multiply by the equations that you have so that you can eliminate the variable that you desire to eliminate. So what does that mean here? If I want to get rid of x, well, I can't right now because I have a 2x and a 3x. When I add those two things together, I get a 5x. However, if I multiply the entire first equation by positive 3 and I multiply the entire second equation by negative 2, let's see what happens. So if I multiply by 3, I get 6x minus 9y equals negative 42. And make sure with the multiplication that you're checking your work. Um, no need to do any math in your head if you don't feel confident. Like, you know, if you need to just multiply 14 by 3 off to the side on your, on your test, please do that. When I distribute the negative 2 across the second equation, I get negative 6x plus 4y equals positive 12. So what you see here is that after multiplying the top by 3 and the bottom by negative 2, what I get here is that my 6x and negative 6x will eliminate, and the negative 9y plus 4y is negative 5y, and the negative 42 plus 12 equals negative 30. I can go on to divide both sides by negative 5, leaving me with y equals 6. So I found half of what I'm looking for, right, because I want x and y, I know that y is 6. But now that I know that y is 6, I can plug it into either of these original equations. I'm going to just choose the second one. Why not? So the bottom equation says 3x minus 2y equals negative 6. Well, now that I know that y equals 6, I'm going to say this is actually 3x minus 2 times 6 equals negative 6. So when I simplify this, I get 3x minus 12 equals negative 6, right? Add 12 to both sides here, and I have 3x, this is gone, equals positive 6, and divide by 3, and I get x is equal to 2. So now I have x is 2, y is 6, so x minus y, which is what the question asked me to find, is just going to be 2 minus 6, which is equal to negative 4, which is answer choice C.